Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning decimal exponents and you will be able to work on 1.3. Today, students will be able to convert between decimal exponents and roots and to evaluate decimal exponents with the calculator. And so it's a little related to what we saw before, but now it starts with decimals. And so we're going to be reviewing some of the things that you learned already in the modules. So in here, if you recall, to convert from a decimal to a fraction, well, first of all, we're just going to keep the same base. But anytime you have a decimal to put it into a fraction, you just put off the number after the decimal point, and you count, since this is in the tenths, place, you're going to put it over 10. But this can be simplified because both are divisible by 5. Divided by 5, divided by 5. So the answer becomes 1 half. So x to the 1 half, but then it says to convert to a root. From the previous lesson, we learned that the base stays the same, the numerator becomes the exponent, the denominator becomes the index. Since the exponent one, we never write it, we don't need to put the exponent one. Index two, we never write it in the square root, so we don't need to put the two, and that's the answer, okay? For the next one again, keep the base. And we're going to put 15, ignore the decimal point. Again, it goes only to the tenth value. Remember, this is um, after the decimal point, you have tenths. The next value is hundredths with th. The next one is thousandths. Okay, and before that, this place value is once, then tens, hundreds, thousands, without th. So on this side, you don't have the t and the h. After the decimal place, you have the th. And so again, it's 1.5, so that means that it's 15 tenths. Why tenths? Because it's only one place value. One, it's on the tenths. And we can simplify that. Again, both of them are divisible by 5. So the answer is 3. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So in fraction form, x to the 1.5 will be 3 halves. x to the 3 halves. But they want us to write it in root form. So we keep the same base. The numerator becomes the exponent, and it can be outside or inside, it doesn't matter. And this becomes the index, the denominator. But we don't need to write it because we never write the index 2. Keep the base. It's in the tenths value, so 3 tenths. We cannot simplify that anymore, so we're just going to go directly to the root. Same base, the numerator becomes the exponent. Now I'm gonna put it in here, it doesn't matter, you can put it out here if you want. And the index is 10, okay? In here you have x to the 71. Since it's tens, hundredths, we're gonna put it over 100 because it's in the hundredths value. Let's say that I have a number in here. Let's say 3.593, I don't know. Okay, so it's in the hundredths value. So it's, it's gonna be 71 hundredths. Okay, because it's in the second place value. Can we simplify this? Well, this, um, Nope. So that's it. We're just going to put 
in a root. So the exponent is the numerator. The index is the denominator. So that's how you will write that root. For the next section, it says to write from the root to a decimal exponent. And so the first thing that we are gonna do is write it in fraction, as a fraction um, exponent and then as a decimal. So we keep the same base. Three becomes the numerator. The index becomes the denominator. And to find it as a decimal, what you're gonna do is divide. Three divided by four becomes 0.75. And you can use a calculator or you can just put three divided by four. How many times is the four going to three? Zero times. Add a zero that doesn't exist and put a decimal point because of that. Four into 30 is seven times, so seven times four is 28. You subtract and you get two. Add a zero, how many times is the four going to 20? Goes five times, five times four is 20, and you get zero. So it's 0 0.75. Or you can use your calculator and just divide three divided by four equals 0 0.75, okay? And that's it, convert to decimal form. The next one says 25. It doesn't have an exponent, so it's gonna be one for the numerator. And it doesn't have an index, so it's two for the denominator. And you already know that that's um, 0.5, so it's 25 to the 0.5, okay? The next one, you keep the same base. This becomes the numerator. The index becomes the denominator. And so we divide seven by four, so it's gonna be one and, well, we can just divide here, seven divided by four. So it's 1.75. And that's it, okay? Again, um, I don't know if should I do it in here so that you know how to do it. <laughs> this is good for placement tests because sometimes these answers, these questions of converting from decimals to fractions or fractions to decimals come up in the placement test. So it's good review. How many times does the four go into seven? One time, one times four is four. Subtract and you get three. Add a zero that doesn't exist, that's why you put a decimal. Four into 30 goes seven times. Seven times four is 28. Subtract and you get two. Zero, how many times is the four going to 20? Five times, five times four is 20, to 20 is zero. Okay, so that's how you would divide. Okay, and the last one is same base. Now it's y, it doesn't matter, I mean, it's just changing the variable. The exponent becomes the numerator, the index becomes the denominator, and so in here, how many times is the two going to five? Oh, look at me. <laughs> I just said that it's y, not x, it doesn't, well, how many times is the two going to five? Two times. How many are left? One, one half is 0.5, so it's gonna be 2.5. Or if you think about it, uh, five divided by two people is $2.50 each. Okay, that's another way of seeing it. Or again, you can use your calculator. That's why we're using technology. It's five divided by two equals 2.5. Okay, in here it says evaluate. Um, if you recall from previous lesson, it means 16 is the same as five over 10, right? Five over 10. If we simplify that 16, five over 10 is the same as one half. 
1 half is the same thing as 16, 1, and 2, and the square root of 16 is 4. Oh my goodness, I've been knocking this several times today. Okay. And here, this is the same thing as 75 over 100. Why? Because 75, and it's in the tens, hundreds. If we simplify, both are divisible by 25. So 75, how many 25s go into 75? Three of them. How many 25s go into 100? Four of them. And 3 fourths is 16 to the, the, this becomes the power. This becomes the index. One number multiplied times itself, four times equals 16. Well, four times four, two times two, two times two. Okay, and if you don't remember, the, this is from the previous lesson. So I recommend that you go back to the previous lesson um, to review this. So in here it says, the four tells me how many encaged in each group. So it's four of them. And you only send the captain out here. Okay, the other ones, we forget about them. It's just this one representing. And because we have an exponent in here, it says, now that you have that answer, raise it to that power. Okay, and it means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. For the next one, it's a little easier. All you have to do is use your calculator to evaluate it. And so it's going to be, put the base... Then you have the power button, it's right here, y to the x. Uh, so let me write the power buttons. Uh, some calculators had this symbol for the power button. Other calculators have x to the y, or maybe y to the x, or maybe, what's the other one I've seen? x to the little square, it's a white square, not pink. Okay, so any of those represent the power button the next thing that you have to be careful about is that well let me let me write it for the first one you need to put the base then the power button then don't forget the decimal point and then after that the number and finally equal okay so don't forget decimal point where it's placed because some people put it before or after of where it's actually okay okay so what is 5 to the point 1 5 to the power of point 1 okay it looks like that uh, in here it doesn't have a zero before the decimal place but in here it puts it in there equals one point and we can round to the hundreds or the tenths um, I'll do it to the hundreds in here then the next one is 22 to the power of 1.7 equal 191.48. Notice that after in the thousands, there is a 7. So if this one is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then it's going to go up by 1, the, the hundredths. 7 to the 1, we already learned in the previous lesson that it's the same number, but you can just check. 7 to the 1 power equals 7. And then the next one, also we learned that anything to the power of 0 is always 1, okay? But you can check in here. 8 to the 0 power equals 1. And finally, 2 to the 2.1 equals 10.0 and then because this the thousands is a five then that means that the hundreds is going to go one up if this is four or less then this would have stayed four but since this is five or more then this goes up one so it's 10.05 okay um, let me do some super fast. Uh, you're going to be filling out a table. And so I'm going to do one in here. If you feel that you're ready with this is enough to fill out your own table for the homework, that's fine. You can go ahead and, 
and do it and stop the video here. But otherwise, what I'm gonna do is just 16 power button 0.1 equals. So I'm gonna go really fast, okay? And then I'm gonna round to the, where should I put it over here? <laughs> so it's gonna be 1.32. 1.32. I'm rounding to the hundredths, 16 to the point two, 1.74, since the other one is a one, it doesn't go up, 16 to the point three, it's gonna be 2.29, but this makes this go up, and it goes back up to a 10. So that 10 affects this one as well. So it's gonna be 2.3. 3.0 if you want to, or just um, 0.3. 16 to the 0.4 equals 3.03. I'm just gonna make sure because I, I'm not sure if I press the right button. There it is, okay. 16 to the 0.5, it's a four. Well, guess what? 16 is this, uh, to the half or to the 0.5 is the same thing as square root of 16, which is four, because four times four is 16, right? So that makes sense. 16 to the 0.6 is 5.28. The A gives me one more here. 16 to the 0.7. It's gonna be 6.96. So this is a four, so it doesn't make that go up, okay? 16 to the 0.8. It's gonna be 9.19. The nine gave one to the eight. 16 to the point nine is 12.13. It goes up one in the hundredths. And then finally, 16 to the first power is just 16. Okay, so I want you to notice how the half and the whole made a whole number and this is the square root of that number and this is um, the same number okay so now you can work on 1.3 and have fun